Hey guys, Brick Queen here with another Lego Harry Potter minifigure comparison for you guys. So some of you have already been requesting this one. This is every version of Professor Minerva McGonagall that Lego has made up to this point. So you can see we have six versions, five full minifigure size versions, and then the little micro from 2018. Um, but the first version of McGonagall is this one. They came out in 2002. I will say, I think 2002 may be the only exception to this, but I believe every one of these is basically exclusive to the set it came in. Um, now, 2002 is a little odd because there was there was another sort of like, it was like a minifigure pack or something um, that they also released in 2002. Uh, I really couldn't find much information on it, but... It was in some other kind of pack or something, um, but mostly or primarily it was in Dumbledore's office. Um, you know, <laughs> a little odd to get um, the first version of McGonagall <laughs> in Dumbledore's office, but that's what happened. Um, and so I think out of all of these, um, there's only one or two, I think two that have second faces. Um, this one does not have a second face or back printing. But uh, nice, interesting hair print on the face there. I thought that was kind of cool uh, back in the day. This one came out, I don't know if I mentioned the year, 2002 um, is what this is from. So we have kind of a, what is it, a 19 year spread here uh, because this one's 2002 and the very last one over here is 2021. Um, but after 2002, um, we didn't see a new one until you know, Harry Potter had gone away for a while and then it came back in 2010. And so this is the 2010 version. Um, obviously it got updated to skin color um, and we have a, a darker green now than the original. So these are the first two versions. Much darker green, which I like the darker green a lot better. Um, the, the bright green is, it's a nice color, but I think the dark green is much more accurate uh, to the way um, Professor McGonagall actually looked, her actual robes there. Um, again, no back printing, no second face on this one. And there you go. So that is 2010. And then we get another gap and uh, it skips to 2018. And then we kind of get a new one every year almost. Um, <laughs> we have 2018, 2019, and then it skips to 2021. Um, so 2018, we got two actually. Um, this little micro one, of course, came in the micro Hogwarts. Um, of course, it's very limited in detail because, I mean, it takes a lot of talent to get any detail on such a small little figure. Um, so there is... The little, that little 2018 one. And then we get this one also in 2018. And I know you're probably looking at 2019 that's been sitting next to it and going, wait a second, <laughs> those look like the same figure. Well, almost. Um, <laughs> so let me explain. So the 2018 one came in the uh, Great Hall set. Um, 2019 was in the advent calendar of that year. And on the front, they look pretty close to the same. You might see some slight printing differences. I think, you know, the, like the blue on this one kind of pops a little bit more, but it's really just like some slight printing differences. Um, so to see the difference, you have to turn it around to the back and see that in 2018, it was double-sided. So in 2018, we also have this like, really upset <laughs> looking face for McGonagall um, to go along with the smiling face. Um, and the 2019 one just does not have that. Um, I think it's odd that they came out with the figure again and then it's almost like they just left off a face. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, something about it just seems off. Um, but that is what they did. In 2018, it was double-sided. In 2019, it was not. Um, so anyway, and these both have black hats, uh, as you can tell. So we have a bright green hat, then a dark green hat, and then two black hats. 
And finally, we got the 2021 version, which is incredible. Um, so this one does again have the black hat, of course, which is totally fine because um, <laughs> it's pretty accurate. But I love that they did this new mold for her hat. Um, it actually, you know, kind of folds over to the side, just like McGonagall's usually did. And it does have some hair attached to it. And she does have a double sided face on this one. So this is one of the two that does have a double sided face. And I think, uh, let's see. So these, the ones like this have a little back printing, um, but they have regular legs instead of uh, the dress piece, um, which I don't know, I, I thought that was a little odd. Not complaining, just different, you know? Um, but this is one of the new dress pieces. This is the only one with the new dress piece. Um, so it's printed all the way down the back, which I think is really great, double-sided. And the hairpiece with the hat is awesome. So this is by far my favorite, the, the new 2021 one. This came in um, the little book set, the Hogwarts Moment um, Transfiguration class. So except each one of these uh, is only available in one set, really. Uh, like I said, there's there's the weird thing going on with 2002. There was some other kind of pack or something it was in, but um, primarily just each one is in one set. And um, it's very clear looking at these, you know, these are all based on the exact same outfit. Um, I think maybe, maybe these are a little different um, outfit there. Uh, still has the same, like, I don't know what you call this little like pendant there in the middle. Um, so th this might be a different robe than than these maybe, but uh, it's pretty similar. I think. I mean, I, I'm thinking back and McGonagall really did wear pretty much the same thing most of the time. Um, maybe some slight differences in her outfit once in a while. Um, I think there was one that um, she looked like she was wearing all black. Um, so I don't know that Lego will ever decide to make one like with a different outfit. I think it would be nice just to have a difference there, but, uh, <laughs> I'm not complaining because I really love this new version. The 2021 one looks incredible to me. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, if you disagree with me, that is perfectly fine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have any other uh, video requests, um, reviews or comparisons, anything like that, let me know in the comments and uh, I will see you guys again soon.